Hey, what's going on everybody? So we are headed out to the lake. We're gonna do some trout fishing today. Um, as you guys know, I absolutely love trout fishing. Some people on TikTok mentioned to me that I do a lot of spinner fishing and asked if I only do spinner fishing. And the answer to that question is no. So I brought the bobber set up. We're gonna do some bobber fishing. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that. Or at least I'll show you guys how I do that. We're in the Greenling right now. I got the Palm Piranha loaded up in back. You guys can probably see it back there. So uh, we're gonna head down to the lake. I'll get the Palm Piranha out and then we'll go do some trout fishing. I'll see you guys on the water. We made it down to the lake. It's a beautiful day. Uh, it's pretty calm on this side of the lake, so I'm gonna fish this side of the lake. If you guys all look at it, it's really beautiful out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out on the water and get geared up, we'll gear up out there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna deal with this right now. If you guys ever see stuff like this, please do something about it. I mean, these cigarette butts, like now I get to smell like cigarette butts, but um, this is ridiculous. So we'll go ahead and pick that up and uh, throw that away. But yeah, there we go. We're gonna get out on the prompt run and catch some fish. All right, we are out here. We're about where we wanna be. I'm gonna put the bobber rod out. I got the hook. You guys can see I got a couple little split shot there and then just a little uh, a fixed uh, bobber on there. Go ahead and get into the juicy worms that we got out of the yard last night. I'm gonna use half of them because they're big and I'm gonna put an egg on the tip. I'm gonna leave a little tail off like that. We're gonna take our eggs. There we go. We're gonna cast that guy right out here. All right, we're fishing. You guys see the bobber out there? It's right there. All right, we're gonna check out recast here. Still looking pretty good. I cast him back out over there. Oh, you can see that one just roll right behind it. Come on, fishies. Dang, now I want to cast closer to the bank. That one was closer to the bank. It's the first one I've seen. I've seen him rolling out in the middle of the lake, but it's kind of windy. And if I'm going to be out there, we're probably going to troll. Oh, 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 I think we got one playing with it. Let's see. Come on, bobber down, baby. Come on. Take it. Take it. Oh. Come on, fishy. There we go. There we go. Get it, get it. Oh, we got it. Oh no, we lost it. Oh, we had him for a second, dang it. Little sucker, okay. Oh, he got our bait, he got our bait. He got a full free meal. All right, let's go ahead and re-rig here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Man, I thought I waited long enough. That bobber went all the way down underwater and he still didn't have it. I am running a little bigger hook. I try to hook the fish in the mouth and not the gut just in case I want to let him go. 
but um, oh, 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 I felt him wiggle that time. We lost him again. Oh, you little son of a gun. Okay. He definitely got some of our bait. Just going to reposition this here real quick. We are getting blown into the bank here. I don't know why I came over here. I just like this little cove a little bit. Just looked fishy to me. So I'm gonna stay in this area since we've gotten two bites now. Out there. It's about where they were. I know it's out there kind of far. it deep this time if we get another bite oh there they are he's playing with it it's just bouncing around go take it down take it down take it down take it down fishy take it down Could I not have? Oh, I got, I got him. There we go. Fish on. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little trout. It's a little trout. Oh, 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 oh. Easy, easy little guy. Easy little guy. Yeah, there we go. It's a trout. Oh man, he really took it, but he's beautiful. Look at that guy. He's beautiful. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just bonk him. Put him out of his misery here. Definitely a keeper. Gorgeous little rainbow. Oh, oh, oh. All right, there we go. All right, he's gone. Thank you, little guy. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, look at that. Look at that pretty little rainbow trout. Thank you, Mr. Rainbow. All right, he's going into the cooler. All right, one fish in the boat. Let's bait back up. Only took us, what, four, four bobber downs to get him? So I'm gonna try to get one more here on the bobber and then I think we might troll a little bit. Just to see if we can get some trolling action in here. You can see the beautiful worms I brought from home. Ooh, that looks like a good halfer right there. I'm gonna put him on there just right. Actually, I don't really. Just thread him up the hook. Well, I just like to have that barb open so I can put a egg on there. I think it makes all the difference in the world. You guys see me do it on the spinners too. Um, okay, we're going to cast that guy out. I'm super excited but I don't want to yell too loud because there's people out here. It's a really nice quiet morning. We'll disrupt the peace. stick with our depth and everything since we got fish hitting. All 
right, come on, fishy. Oh, did you guys see that big one just roll by the bobber? Come on, big one. I'll take you. Come on, big one. I just put bait in there, and that big one just rolled right there. Oh, I want that one. Come on. Come over to my stuff. Oh, how can that big one not see our stuff? I wonder if I should recast it a little further over there. Alright, I'm casting further over there. It's driving me nuts. We got him, fish on. Fish on, baby. Oh, he's swimming over there. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Oh, he's turning the boat. He's turning the boat. Oh, he's turning the boat. Oh, a jumper. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, let's go. Come on, Vigie. Oh, stay on, stay on. Yes, 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 yes. a nice one too hooked him right in the side of the mouth all right we're keeping him too that was awesome so say good night to him yep there we go he's gone doing the shake all right yes mr trout thank you thank you wow right in the side of the lip get that out there oh man guys deadly this morning trout number two beautiful rainbow love it these are beautiful fish so fun this is awesome all right we're gonna put him in the cooler what a beautiful day so we got two on the bobber i'm gonna go ahead and uh do a little spinner fishing i just backed in on a log try to keep the pontoon set up so i'm gonna go ahead and rig up my uh rooster tail here See how we do. Alright, we need a juicy, juicy guy. Whoa, that is a big one. It'll work just fine. This fish on to me. Let's go, Yakima. I need some rooster tails. Oh, oh, that was a big smack. Did you guys see that? 
Come back. Come back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Take that thing. I'm just going to reel it in really slow and see if I can get him. See if I can get him in my hands because after all those hits, I don't know if... There he is. There he is. Ooh, baby. If I reeled in slow, I might be able to talk him into it. Oh, guys, look at that rainbow. All right. Thank you, buddy. You're a beautiful fish. Thanks, bud. Thanks for the fight. We're gonna reuse them our lucky worm. All right, this time we are not gonna turn around. We are gonna troll until we get one. stuck oh I think this is a good fish guys oh I think this is a good fish let's go yes wow this thing's really fighting me Look at that pull bend. Is that a bass?
Holy cow. Oh my god, guys, we're keeping that one. He is a slab. I can't even get my... Oh, oh ho, ho. look at that slab. That's the nicest fish I've ever caught out of this lake. Right there. Wow. Wow, thank you, buddy. That was a pleasure. Just an absolute pleasure right there. And I had him sunk. We had him sunk. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to head back and go cook some of these trout up. I've had a fantastic day. I'm super thankful. It was just beautiful out. Here's that big one we caught. Time to turn them into some fish tacos. All right, so on the way back from the lake, it started raining. And then, so I detoured from where we were gonna go cook and came home and now it's really humid out. <laughs> It's getting warm um, but it stopped raining so I'm just out in the field um, I really want to cook outside my dogs might be bothering this but uh, I really want to cook outside and get these tacos done um, I gotta take this off it's too hot Oof. I did go ahead and fillet the fish up so there's one of the fillets from our big guys all ready to go I think that's all I'm gonna need for the tacos um, you know it's only me eating I flayed them all I'll show you guys so yeah, I just, I got them in my cooler. They're all filleted up um, and ready to go home and make tacos for the family and stuff. Uh, but we'll save those for another day. So I'll show you guys what I brought with me. I've got the fish that we caught together. Um, I brought some cilantro. I bought an avocado. I got some radishes. We have uh, some queso ranchero. We got some butter. I got some flour and some panko seasoning, uh, an egg, some lime, a little bit of oil for the pan, and some seasoning that I made up. This is uh, garlic powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper powder, salt, pepper, and a red chili flake that we're going to put on the fish, and then we'll go ahead and garnish it with everything else. I had everything just packed in here nice and tight. It only took that much space to bring everything out here to cook, even though we're back on the field. But I'll show you guys how I do it outside. This is how I do it. It's set up pretty nice. We'll go ahead and get the stove going, get the oil hot. We'll go ahead and put some oil in the pan. This is usually how I bring oil. I don't use a lot of plastic because I don't want the containers to break. I just don't like plastic in general. Go ahead and put a healthy amount of oil in there. And let's fire that guy up. All right, we've got heat. Still waiting for that to get hot. I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of this up. Get our avocado open here. All right, get that open. Get that guy out of there. Some radishes. If you guys don't do radishes, you should. They're really good on tacos. to eat 
All right, some radishes. I'm just gonna chop the fish up a little bit because I don't want those big pieces on the, the uh, tacos. Mind you, this is half of that one trout. Half of that one trout we caught. And it was nice. You guys noticed the meat was nice and red. You know, nice meat. All right, I think I'm gonna do it. We're gonna put it in the egg. Put in the flour. Put it back in the egg. And then I'm gonna dunk it in the chicken fry. Get it nice and coated. A lot on there. There we go, first piece in. Skin side down. Get these other ones going here. Gotta move on this one. Turn that down just a little bit. Back in the egg. And then chicken fry. It already smells so good. I, I mean, it already smells so good. Oh man, Tony, if you guys are out camping and catching fish, don't short yourself on the cooking. I said that in my last one too when I did the Froud Trite Hoagie. Like, make this stuff good. You don't have to do lemon, pepper, and lemon. Cook the trout whole. We're cooking a meal here. We're doing a dish, We're making tacos. how fast they go. I mean, so quick. So quick and easy. Now I'm going to hit them with some seasoning. Get the chili flakes on there. Don't be shy. What do you think, guys? That's one thing I say, guys, way too much. I gotta stop. Everybody? No, it's hard. Just talking to y'all. Oh, good. Yeah, we're having tacos. Like I said, it's Taco Tuesday. We go out and catch some fish and make some tacos. Make, make real tacos. You guys got any questions or tips or hints on cooking? Let me know, too. Anything about what we did today? Um... I know the content's a little rough. I, I literally film with my iPhone strapped to my chest. Like I strap it to my chest, it's all I have right now. So uh, eventually I'd like to get better gear, you know, and, and put some more high quality videos together, but I'm just starting out and I'm eager. So we're doing it eager. Some more seasoning on those bad boys, that chili pepper. I wanna feel some spice when it hits, you know? about ready just about ready to make the switch I really enjoy cooking maybe I would have been a chef if I would have known earlier that I enjoyed it so much but uh, it works out really well I love fishing and I love cooking so doing this is just like I mean, I'm having an amazing time doing this. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, I know the content's a little rough, but I'll work on it. And I'll get the right filming equipment and we're gonna pull these guys. So we got ready for our four fish tacos right there. Street style, so it can't be that big. This is just little corn tortillas. Turn the burner off really quick gonna wipe this pan out. Pan's probably hot enough to do the tortillas without any uh, heat. We'll see. I'm gonna throw this butter in there and get it melting. All right. I'm gonna warm up our tortillas.
Yes. Yes, guys. Yes, yes. Here we go guys, we're putting them together. Put some avocado on there. All right, getting our cheese on there. We're gonna hit them with a little lime. Cilantro. Let's eat. Let's go trout fishing. You guys want to go trout fishing with me? Make some food? What do you think? Come on. Those gotta look good. Oh, I can't wait. They're gonna taste good. I'm gonna go ahead and put them up here. You guys, I've had that Coleman stove. It was my dad's stove. I can remember him cooking on this when we were camping. I must have been six or seven. And I'll show you something cool. He was a painter. And we always had like paint buckets in the garage from his painting company and stuff. And there's from like a five gallon bucket sat on there and it leaked. And I've never been able to get that paint off there. <laughs> Funny story. I've done a lot of painting myself. All right, guys, there's our taco. Oh, I did bring myself one, uh, <laughs> one, one gift for me. I just couldn't do Taco Tuesday without a nice cold beer. All right, I'm ready. Let's get that ready. Let's make sure it's okay. It's ice cold, it's been with the fish all day. Here we go, guys. Mm. Come on. Mm. Got a little bit of heat from that chili pepper. That queso ranchero and that avocado is so creamy and good together. And then the crunchiness comes out of the radishes, which are a little spicy. And that fresh, uh, that fresh, like earthy hit of that cilantro is just fantastic. The corn tortillas are browned. Mm. Well, I had a great day, guys. If you guys like it, comment, like the video, share it. Please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Like I said, I know things are a little rough right now, but I literally filmed this with my iPhone strapped to my chest. That's why a little bit of the, the footage is rough, but I do have a microphone and a lens, so I'm working on getting some other cameras and some editing equipment, make it all a little nicer and a little easier for everybody to see. But I would love for you guys to follow and grow with me. I'm not going to quit. This is what I love doing. Taco number two. Mm. Guys, we caught that. It was alive three hours ago. We pulled it out of a mountain lake. I had an incredible time catching this food. And like I always say, I had just as much fun cooking it. Cooking it's gotta be fun.
Nobody wants to eat nasty fish. Just fishy tasting slimy fish. They want to eat a meal. Some you go and get at a restaurant. But let me know what you guys think. If you got any ideas, other stuff you'd like me to cook, places you want me to go, I am going to try to get up on the river and do some hiking up on a river. Get up into our mountain lakes. I'm really hoping for the river, the next one. Uh, it'll be an overnight camp probably because I got to hike in. We're going to try to go out and get some cutthroat trout. But um, I really appreciate you guys watching, especially if you made it to the end. If you subscribe, thank you so much. Um, I love to see the comments. Uh, you guys can follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I'm on all of them. I like to goof around on TikTok a little bit. I think it's more of like a place to play around. I've got a couple viral videos with the pond piranha in it, so that's cool. Um, but stop by somewhere and say hi. And uh, if you guys made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the woods.